well, they don't deserve it. Get him the rampage. I feel like you earn that, you know, by showing you go out of your way. Oh! 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 The Sammy boy with Empower! Wait, I, how did God Z get both of them? <laughs> Fortune's <laughs> end? <laughs> That's crazy. Dude, that was a huge ulti, though. It did so much damage. The Empowered Ember actually does oh a lot of damage. God, that was so sick. And he's going to get another kill on MSS? Holy smokes. That was 2,000 gold right. for the Ember. I said I'm going to... Naga Siren line up out of surprise. Walking, walking up hill towards an obs ward and a naga waiting ready to break it they just got a blind jump broke in the trees they have the wards do they commit they're gonna throw everything at her bkb comes through with an attempted counter initiation with the call now the chain frost bouncing inside this chronosphere can they bring ace down he's low he's dead that's huge now on to baby knight also able to control the husk for now he shoves them back away diving onto the faceless void who instantly gonna tp out they have lost four. Oh man the smoke breaking but only after his in the trees didn't see that one coming and now baby knight gonna get caught with the tornado it's a full five man wipe nip uh, really yeah i didn't know that Clark was rushing glimmer cape when it was first released oh ben her is this an na only no well, i mean maybe oh, it jump in trying to steal it no it's a snatch for raven they kill off zemestra in an instant though and now dubu still staying alive for the moment they have the doppelganger trying to walk away leash on the two a burrow strike coming through with the avalanche it's not quite enough to Interrupt and Raven is dropping down super low, but the Aphotic Shield last second keeps him alive and Raven decides to go back in, still hanging on to that Aegis. He is not afraid. Ultra kill, give this man a rampage. GG is called as Raven. Rampage. Get it to him. Yeah. The way this game should have gone for Nip is they would hold like a 3 4k gold lead and preferably have taken mid tower by now. But. Some bad team fights. Now they're getting caught out. Fiverr jumped upon by this Ember Spirit. Does manage to steal the Remnant. Zips up to Nigra, but the wow. slight ends him. Just deleted. Um, like a third HP. And Singularity also managing to grab the PPD Jakiro. Things going from bad to worse. And NIP still moving in like they want to yeah. take a fight. They've got the three cores here. They want to try and jump Excalibur. Saberlight has his ultimate, though. And Excalibur is very heavily strength morphed already. Still 1,300 HP. Now they're suddenly changing targets. No, they will jump back on Excalibur. He's going to wave away. They're just getting baited in too deep. And now with the split coming through, Gunner's the one on the run. Heavenly Grace to try and get him back a bit more safely. And it looks like he will manage to juke them, get up to the trees. But no Excalibur kill. They're jumping in, moving after Saberlight. Are they really going for this? They're still committing. The whole squad's back. The gang's in town. I'm just going to come back in. And they want to take round two of this fight. Now Gunner is changing targets. He's changing his mind. He leaps away, pouncing back. PPD with a beautiful three hero stun. And the crit over the top. NIP have found their opening, and they're looking to smash a hole in the door. They will take another. Buyback instantly on the edge. What will she get done with this Ember zipping in, zipping out? He can't decide. Meanwhile, Excalibur trying to do what he can here in the Stolen Monkey King form, but they'll chuck in a creep. They'll start pushing back the other way. The fight keeps on going. The pounces keep on coming, and they're going to get another kill. They bring down Pexu again. That's a dieback, and now overextending his mage. He's got a remnant, but he is very low on mana here. The drum charge cooling down. Will it matter? Beautiful toss to try and get him back. He's up the high ground. He's sliding to the crib. Oh, he does get away. Gunner dodged the uh, the adaptive strike hit with his. Uh... He realizes that they will stand behind the troll and that they will um, react accordingly. So he goes behind. Pikachu also is a really good target. Reveals him. Now I'm dragging his ball. Best ball now. Ice blast. Went with their RP. Stops the freeze of field for the pilot Thomas. The damage coming through. Two kills already. Five back on the Rubik. They need to get out. Pikachu is hunting for more than V2. Meanwhile, DM gets left behind. V2 looks like he will get out as Pikachu is TPing to cut off the lower dancer's escape. Flick away. Flies bit. Scouts him out. Neutral is hitting onto him. Drums activated. Long time until he's got anything way of escaping. And the searing chains ensures that Shaker goes down. And meanwhile, well. guess who's in the rush? It's Palantimos, the troll. He's taking him down. It's already on like 40% and it's just gone. I mean, he's just a sacrificial lamb at this point. He's not chicken, but he's a sacrificial lamb, so instead they oh, won't work. Got Pikachu's here. And missile come through. They're chasing Loha dancers here as well. 
Dodge is out on the missile. They're waiting. They'll take the kill on the Happy Drawer. And there's the Blinken. The call is there. Link the two together. Looking for the kills. Big Yes, Yeah, so no. Cold Blade is timed. The RP trying to turn around. The cooldown's coming in as well. On the edge. The Pocket trying to escape. Gets dragged back to his death. The M goes to the call. The Phantasm Illusion Army. Now Wiko's command is down. They might have the damage to bring Phantomos down. He's going to fall. Triple kill for Nyx. And look not too bad at moments for 178. But in the end, all that really mattered was this Monkey King, who might get more as he chases forth for Petrusha, who has already used that skewer. Oh, Petrushara. Need to get used to that. Moving in. Three hits will do it. Oh, the stick is enough to keep him alive. Mm, he actually attacked him before he had that Echo Saber on. For good I mean, 10, 15 seconds. Chen is a great target because of Divine Favor. That uh, passive... Oh, Meepo? No, oh, he, no. He, he can't get oh, up because no. of the freezing field. Oh, he has no. no buyback. For nine more seconds, though. It's okay. So, it's okay. He'll have it. Still, though, that's not the way you want to have to give a buyback over. Pikachu needs to get him out of the base. The tips are coming out for save. They're confident right now. Pikachu moves away under the Glimmer Cape. They might catch them off hand, though. There it is. Yules. Oh, he has the PKB. He's got to fuse it, though. Just get it out of time. The stun's going to be there. They haven't got the sight, luckily for him. They're trying to actually look for the split. A Brewmaster stunned up for a long time. Never let the kick trying to move away. Taking a lot of damage right now. Meepo buying back. Coming in. Going to go Let's down once. Bet. The Latimos chasing, they're looking for Solo again. He's still caped up, but it won't keep him alive. The Epileptic Kid will use the BKB to get away. And it looks like they Meepo. might leave Omni Knight behind in this raid. Meepo goes pretty deep. Nice stun coming out. Epileptic Kid trying to go for the kill. Taking too much damage himself. Nice use of the Heavenly Grace to protect him. Big Doom with a big ultimate with the BKB. Trying to do the damage. Red's gonna get low, but they can't fix him off. Nice lift coming out. Good save from the Rubik. And now no one beats the cheese. Stays alive. Crystal Maze is gonna go down. They've lost the Meepo as well. Pikachu has to hold this on his own shoulders. Happy Diorora is gonna try in the tree line. And they will at least get Rezo, so they'll offset some of the aggression, but VP, they're resetting and going again. Yeah, this is two comes up. right now, and there's oh, no split. It's gonna be one versus three, because there's the side. Buyback comes buy back. No choice. They could they still keep going, though. I wonder if we'll see an Ags this game on the Bloodseeker. Like, there are multiple good targets for Ruptures. Namely, like... the Slark and the Lashrak come to mind. It looks like uh, J178, they want to fight. And that's Ryan. Duel comes in, and that'll be a win. Moving forward, Plantamos chase on a no one. With the Shadow Dance as well. And no one. Uh oh. RP, nicely done, but where's your damage? Blood right going out now. Lagoon is there. Dodged out with the Yules. Actually, he mistimes it. As a result, they don't get the damage, but in the end, they have enough to finish off Leech. They'll move across the Epileptic Kid to try and kill off Plantamos, who already used the Shadow Dance. The Crepify by some time, but the LSA is there. The follow up should be good as he goes under the tower. So double kill. As well. Might be a triple. Pikachu has no escape plan for this. It was now tried the TP, but the LSA is there. And Lena gets the kill. It looked, it looked like J178 definitely have everything that they need to win this fight. I mean, this is this is genius. They've just wasted one of his remnants. Maybe this is the moment they make a play on the Nix. BKP. Yeah. That's a runaway BKB. Mm, perhaps they can fight because they yeah, are small. Yeah, they do. Jump in, Wukong's is there as well. Cool down, follow up as well. Trying to do enough damage on the back line. Pikachu is murdering everyone, Nick. Does get the Jingu, but doesn't have the target to actually get the damage and the health back. And he'll go down. B2 runs away. But with the BKB running out, he's going to fall as well. And this is, once again, that's not a only disaster. the Valentino show, it's the Pikachu show. That's the damage item builds. Perhaps afterwards you can get the Magnums later. But right now, Butterfly is definitely something that I think is better. Pikachu just wanted the rune. Oh no, he got pushed in the pit. No one takes the no hit. One. He needs to run. Pace gets away just in time. That was a little bit too close for comfort. That was Plantamos, so ballsy. Plantamos has to be careful. There's rupture now. Yep, rupture. There it is. Run, forest, run. Run to the forest. The blood right is getting further away. Epileptic's going in. Lagoon could go out, but they get it in time. RP's going to be there. The duel there as well. But the Suns are going to come out. They get sidestepped as a result, but Lena doesn't give the duel over. Bignum getting pretty low. Needs to get the hell out. Laguna won't quite finish him off, but no one will. Epileptic chasing even deeper, looking for more, and he's going to find it already. Blood, blood, blood. He can smell it. You're seeping out of every wound. Ultra he kill. misses out on the rampage, but he will get the ultra. This is what we needed from the kids. Picking and choosing their moments to get aggressive. They don't want to fight with like a 7k lead. They want to get it all the way up to 15 plus ages. Oh, oh, he's extra. He's next. He's next. And he gets straight back. He'll sliver over HP, but BKB. No, on the run. Can Dinska punch 
push him down. He's gonna try Yul's as hell, and the fight breaks out outside. The Lesh actually gets out. That is something that should not have happened. And now the Burrow on two coming through with a vengeance. Skeeter gonna bring down Peksu next. His BKB has ended. Can they punish him? He's got the Yule Scepter though, and Mage can't engage. They do have the Yule buying back with an Omni Slash. Everything's on Skeeter, and they load the disruption, keeping him alive for now, but spinning now with the Shockwave. They'll get the kill. Three have bones. Somehow they did end up finishing off that Lesh. I guess Dinsch got to chase him to the ends of the Earth. They've lost four heroes. He died here. And although Flying will just heal himself up, it's just a constant reminder that they're waiting for him to mess up. So mid lane, Arrow does connect again on XM. Although he very fires up, they went a bit early in Setsu. Avalanche is there. Now the toss up. James came in as well. And Setsu just walked back without confirming the kill. He thought dogfights would have it. Oh, the arrow! Oh. He nets a dogfight! How dare you! Oh, you can't man. just do that! Doesn't seem like it's gonna matter because C-Deck aren't moving towards the pit. By the time they get there, it'll be too late anyway. Yep. Going straight to IG. Oh, the age is flat. Huh. I just casually leave it there for someone else to walk up to the be able to find the shit. They get Molly, but the Chaos Meteor Toy Man in though, the Avalanche! Oh, oh. Evo! JT with the setup as well. Fly now coming in onto Eve. They take him out on the gyro. They go after one, two, three on the Omni. And he's got nowhere to run. So they jump back in now. The Nimbus does oh. the but the Avalanche toss again. Straight into two. James trying to chase off the Emo. They'll find the Voker. Ogre jumps in, but now XM's in trouble. He's underneath the shrine. Arrow is great from Karka, they'll find another. It's gonna be a full team wipe coming out as they've surrounded Victoria. But the tornado, and I mean, you'd, you'd argue it looked like a pretty even trade, but just getting dogfights off the map for a bit is certainly gonna be a bit more useful than the Shadow Demon being off the map. As uh, that constant presence of an arrow that could fly out is very frustrating for Force Eating, although Echo oh. SM! What? Setsu. He, just walk, Never. he just walks in like that around the tree line where Setsu couldn't quite see him. Top lane, Rene. YG spots him out, blinks forward, but doesn't quite get the lift. He's got the arrow though, Mane. Oh, he comes Oh it. my god. What an arrow coming out from the Rubik. Radiance top shrine. Just on the tail end of the dark pact as well.